Juan, you wrote an interesting piece in the New York Daily News about Yankee Stadium. Yes, well, you know, Amy, we're getting very close now to the final game being played in the most a famous sports arena in the United States, uh, Yankee Stadium, because a new Yankee Stadium will open up across the street in the Bronx uh, on um, next year. And I've been looking into the financing of the new stadium, which is the most expensive stadium ever constructed in America. It's, it started out at 800 million, then it went to about a billion, and now it's already escalated to at least 1.3 billion, and that's not counting another about 300 million or more in public subsidies that are going into this stadium. It's a huge, huge uh, project. It makes the bridge to nowhere it look like a minor league stuff. Uh, but the what my column today focuses on is how the uh, city, apparently, the city of New York, apparently grossly inflated the value uh, of the uh, of the Yankee Stadium land uh, at 10 times the value of any other property in, in the surrounding uh, Bronx uh, neighborhood. Uh, and it did so because the Yankees needed a very high assessment of the land in order to be able to pay off nearly a billion dollars uh, in tax-exempt bonds that uh, that the team floated uh, in 2006. And next week, uh, Congressman Kucinich, uh, Dennis Kucinich of Ohio, is scheduled to hold a hearing uh, in Washington looking into possible abuses of IRS regulations mm -hmm. uh, by city officials uh, in the process of uh, doing these evaluations uh, of the land. Uh, there's a separate investigation going on uh, in the State Assembly, uh, and a report's going to be issued next week. Uh, and uh, I look into, uh, did city officials deliberately inflate the value of the land to benefit the Yankees. Uh, and of course, this is a major issue all around the country because go local governments are spending enormous sums in public subsidies and federally backed, uh, federal tax exempt bonds to create these huge stadium complexes. Here in New York alone, the Yankees have a stadium, a new stadium. The Mets are building a new stadium. Uh, the the, uh, the developer Bruce Ratner wants to build a new Nets arena across the river in New Jersey. The Giants and the Jets are building new stadiums. Minnesota, uh, Washington. Washington, you go any major city in America, they're building new stadiums using huge amounts of public subsidies. And there are questionable practices, I think, in many of these cities as to how government officials are aiding these efforts. Well, we'll certainly continue to follow this as we move now to our st top story, Juan, and it's in Georgia. Yes. Well, attorneys for 